Chapter 244 Heavenly Jewel Mortal King Li Xiuangin remained silent and thought that, in this world, only Li Kai would dare to comment on the Roar God Temple like this. I'm afraid the situation is not looking good for us. Without the temple support, not only would it be detrimental to the Nine Saint Demon Gate, but it is also disadvantageous to the cleansing and sense ancient sect. Li Xiuangin gently sighed as she spoke, Li Xiuangin's words quickly came true. It hasn't been even two days since she received the news from the Nine Saint Demon Gate, but there was a loud boom at the Heavenly God sect that was followed by an endless divine light. A royal carriage from the Heavenly Jewel Kingdom's capital directly left towards the direction of the cleansing and sense ancient sect. Bang bang bang. With resounding thunder, a person stepped on the divine carriage and headed straight for the cleansing and sense ancient sect. The moment this person went on their journey, a royal yellow light gathered endlessly along with a soothing emergence of the Grand Dao as universal laws descended from the sky like a waterfall. This royal aura encompassed the entire Heavenly Jewel Kingdom with its torrential vastness. The Heavenly Jewel Mortal King. Everyone couldn't help but take a deep breath after seeing the person on the divine carriage traveling 10,000 miles with each step. Above the carriage was a middle-aged man who was seemingly taking a stroll in his own backyard. Each step spanned 10,000 miles as he aimed toward the cleansing and sense ancient sect. Even though this man's stature was not huge, his majestic presence was no different from a golden mountain or jade pillar. It was enough to pierce the heavens. Regarding this man who was adorned with a dragon robe and a royal crown, he towered above all others with an unmissable aura of a generational tyrant. The Heavenly Jewel Mortal King Ah. Seeing as how this person's domineering aura was filling the sky with his tyrannical presence, people couldn't help but murmur. In the Grand Middle Territory, many lords, sect masters, and even the undying old men from the previous generation were very wary of the Heavenly Jewel Mortal King. Previously, there were two great geniuses in the Grand Middle Territory. The first was the Mortal King of the Heavenly Jewel Kingdom, and the second was Demon King Lunry of the Nine Saint Demon Gate. Even though they were born during the difficult Dao era, they still powerfully trod forward with their cultivation paths. Both had looked down on the world before as they traversed the mortal emperor world. During their era, even the seclusive old men that accomplished ancient saint or heavenly sovereign had nothing but praises for them. Some people commented that if they didn't live during the difficult Dao era, the mortal king and the demon king would have been able to aim for a mortal emperor. Another one said this about the two. The heavenly jewel mortal king, with his despotic aura, was an overlord of a generation. Demon king Lunre, with his penetrating insight, was a wise ruler of a generation. Many people were attracted to the sudden journey of the mortal king for they knew that a storm was coming. The mortal king who once dominated the world had been silent for 100 years. And now, he suddenly began to take action. How could people not become shocked? Cleansing incense ancient sect. I will give you one day to hand over Li Kai. Otherwise, I will annihilate all of you. As he stood on the scout side of the cleansing incense ancient sect, he looked down on everything with a mighty expression as if he was an emperor sitting in the clouds. The warning bells of the sect instantly resounded loudly as the entire sect quivered. All the disciples and upper echelons were preparing for war. In a short period of time, lights pierced the sky from inside the sect as defensive formations were initiated. Unfortunately, the sect was no longer the same compared to its past. The emperor foundation of the sect had been lost. If its old emperor foundation could be activated, then a supreme grand formation would activate. Even a virtuous paragon would not be able to break through. Many great powers and heritages also arrived after hearing the news that the mortal king was outside of the cleansing and sense ancient sect and demanded for Li Kai. Overnight, many great powers became attentive of this matter. What is your intention, heavenly jewel mortal king? Su Yang Wang was still cultivating in seclusion so Gu Tai Zhu, as the first elder in charge, stepped forward and stood above the sky as he gravely inquired. The heavenly jewel mortal king looked down at the entire sect and nonchalantly spoke, Li Kai killed my descendant. A blood debt must be paid with blood. Hand over Li Kai and I will spare your sect today. Otherwise, I will bathe your sect in blood. Many powerful experts all glanced at each other after hearing the mortal king's words. This little demon Li is devilish to the extreme and even dared to kill the ancestors from the giant Zuo clan and the heavenly southern kingdom. He even came back alive from the underworld boat. With this little demon, there might be a chance for the cleansing and sense ancient sect to rise again and reach its former glory as an emperor's heritage. The heavenly god sect will absolutely never let such a thing happen. A lord understood why the mortal king had to personally take care of this business. The cleansing and sense ancient sect and the heavenly god sect were mortal enemies. 30,000 years ago, the cleansing and sense ancient sect lost the war and even lost their kingdom. From then on, their prosperity was not but an ancient past. Today, if the cleansing and sense ancient sect regained its power, they would surely want to destroy the heavenly god sect. This was inevitable. Since this was the case, the heavenly god sect would naturally not want to see this revival. Killed your descendant? Gutaizu shook his head with a retort. Heavenly jewel mortal king. The Grand Dao is long and torturous with a strong reigns over the weak. As the mortal king, you should know this more than anyone else. Your Dao child Shengshen dying to our Li Kai was only because he was not skilled enough. As his elder, do you feel that you stirring up a commotion is proper? Gu Taizu's words were not without logic as many experts and royal nobles stared at each other from afar. Of course, everyone understood that this was not just a simple personal vendetta. The strong reigns over the weak. You are right, Gu Taizu. If you don't hand over Li Kai, I will personally annihilate your sect. This is the strong reigning over the weak. The heavenly jewel mortal king looked down at Gu Taizu with an encompassing momentum and continued, Even if you have currently reached the enlightened being realm, this outcome will still be inevitable. Gu Taizu was an enlightened being with an emperor law as his fate merit. This was an extremely powerful enlightened being. However, the mortal king did not pay it any mind. 
and this shocked many spectators. In recent years, many people were speculating the cultivation of the mortal king and the demon king. Some said that they were already heavenly sovereigns while others maintained that they were actually heavenly kings. Their actual cultivations, however, were still a mystery. Today, when the mortal king did not think anything of Gutaizu, it was very indicative of his strength. The mortal king's words are quite bold. Gutaizu coldly spoke, our cleansing incense ancient sect isn't a pinch of flour that's so easily needed by anyone, and not just anybody can offend us. If you want us to surrender our disciple, then you must first crush our sect. What is difficult about crushing your sect? The mortal king glanced down at the sect and said with a chilling tone, I know that your sect still has a few secret powers from an immortal emperor, but what can one or two emperor possessions accomplish? Emperor possessions and immortal emperor life treasures aren't things that only your cleansing and sense ancient sect have. Boom. The moment the mortal king finished speaking, a strand of emperors were surged from his body and caused earthquakes to spread throughout the sect. In the blink of an eye, all the weak disciples inside the sect were slumped on the ground. They could not resist the suppression from the emperors or that was controlled by the mortal king. That's an immortal emperor's life treasure, right? The moment the mortal king controlled this emperor's aura, many people were greatly shocked. If this was really an immortal emperor's life treasure, then the cleansing and sense ancient sect was in great peril. If the sect did not have a supreme grand formation to stop it, then this one life treasure with the power of the mortal king might be enough to sink the entire sect. It's only an emperor's possession of a mortal emperor Sandow, yet you still have the nerves to bluster. At this time, a lazy voice appeared, Li Kai. A person exclaimed after seeing the guy who had just arrived. Li Kai sat on a tetra or bronze chariot with a sleepy look. Li Xuangyun, with a sword, was to his right and Chen Beijiao, with a saber, was to his left. Duo maids with both the sword and a saber. The tetra or bronze chariot. The heavenly jewel mortal king gravely said with a serious expression as he saw Li Kai approaching from afar on his chariot. This chariot was taken from the cleansing and sense ancient sect by the heavenly god sect and then gifted to the azure mysterious ancient kingdom. No one expected for it to return to its original owner. As the chariot stopped in the air, Li Kai glanced at the mortal king and said with composure, Regarding emperor's possessions and true power, your heavenly god sect is still too young. Don't think that you will be able to crush my sect just by borrowing one or two emperor's possessions from the ancient kingdom. They are nothing more than broken junk. I wonder which immortal emperor's life treasure you managed to borrow from them. It seems like the lesson from last time was not enough. The imperial violet hammer was almost finished yet you still dare to cause even more trouble. Such bold words. Some experts standing from afar were annoyed with Li Kai's tone. As for a few masters and lords who actually went to the heavenly ancient corpse burial ground and saw Ikai annihilate the giants you clan in the heavenly southern kingdom's ancestors, they couldn't help but wryly smile. This brat had a power to be arrogant. Today is when I reclaim the Tetra War Bronze Chariot. The mortal king coldly proclaimed as he raised his hand. With an explosion, a path appeared behind him as a giant Dao gate opened. Bang bang. With waves after waves of roaring explosions, battalions of cavalry rushed out from the Dao gate, in the blink of an eye. Almost 10,000 cavalrymen rode the air with a magnificent aura. It was as if they wanted to trample the void. In a flash, 10,000 cavalrymen, that resembled a flood made out of steel, suddenly surrounded the cleansing and sense ancient sect with their murderous intent permeating the sky. In just a short amount of time, the entire sky became silent as a foreboding sense of war loomed over the atmosphere. Prepare for battle. After seeing such a scene, Gutaizu, with a darkened expression, knew that this battle today was absolutely unavoidable. The heavenly god sect came prepared and Wadi Li Kai was merely an excuse.